Ibo mo na again ti eke na emu unu. Asim ko echiri azero. Once again, good morning from here, Eastern News 24. Good afternoon, good night. It depends your time and education. You are joining us today. Asim ka chukwo kabe ama gozie na ayin. Na yeni ine biyafa ya ana. Ise, ise, ise. All right, um, I have up on it also. Yeah, if I would go soon before, I try me go soon in this audio clip. But I just decided to show you to be a friend. So let them throw their own point of view on concerning what is happening. Because remember, I I name at this channel, but you say only quote We are in Democrat. Do you get? Because. This audio not yet drop room now. It's about um Pastor Livingstone and uh, Mad Simon Eba. And our brothers will make the analysis. Just gain your beef. Then K feature and Ige Chaya. They fight each other now on comments from below. Because our aim is to unite everybody. Our aim is to catch koto umunayon. I'm not happy about it. Alright, let's go straight to the clip of, of what we have with you today. Alright, over to you, sir. Okay? Your chapter, you're, you're a close chapter. You are once upon a time, brother. Your story is now once upon a time. As my music used to go, when I told one girl one time when I've been like, but she they play big girl, big girl. <laughs> I can't go Obodo Yibo. <laughs> when I go Obodo Yibo, she can't begin to text me. They write me. She sent me a Bible. <laughs> she won't play me for one line. Now I tell them, say, Don't you love me once upon a time, baby? Don't you got me once upon a time, baby? Don't you need me once upon a time, baby? I got you all now once upon a time, baby. Talking to you now once upon a time, baby. <laughs> so, even though you like me, that was once upon a time. Even though you got my back, that was once upon a time. Even though you are saying you need me now, that was once upon a time. I got you all now. It means I get my money now. I know who I be now. Once upon a time, baby. <laughs> so, Emeka Livingstone, all the things you are saying now, once upon a time, it is too late. Because we want you here say you are only <laughs> economic finding team. I'll be waiting you carry come. We want you do not cross your boundary. No go beyond your scope. No put eyes where you know Sabi. Your eyes go see Pepe. And you refused. You wrote a memo. <laughs> you wrote a memo. Commanding Samonekpa. Ordering Samonekpa. You were boasting. Say now you they do everything, no be Simon. Say Simon doesn't be anybody. Now you are crying. <laughs> now you are crying like a baby. It is too late. You have been suspended, you have been expelled, and you have been excommunicated. <laughs> Make me laugh I'm again. Yeah, yeah, man. Continue. <laughs> you heard him say it openly online uh -huh. that the woman is uh, somebody that lives at Aba. He doesn't know her. And when that thing happened, he asked her, who are you? Uh -huh. That one is a lie. You know very well, he never asked her, who are you? you see? She came out openly and that one of the commanders was there to prove that he never even spoke to her, never even talked to her. How much more saying he asked, who are you? That is wrong. Those are the kind of lies you could buy easily. Now, they went after her. And if she had not been warned by the person who warned her, she was out of her place, she traveled. If she had returned that day from where she went, they would have killed her. Hey, Emeka Livingstone. <laughs> America, how you use no now? So, oh, she went somewhere. If she came back, if she has returned, they would have killed. Can, can, which, which, which can talk be that, my brother? Eh? You have no say. You have no horse in this fight anymore. You have no betting in this game anymore. You have been suspended. You have been expelled. And you have been excommunicated. So, this one where they talk down now, uh, <laughs> now medicine after death. If you like, go court. If you like, go Nigerian court. Go Finland court. You're wasting your time. The dragon will not respond to you because it is too late. Ebeka Livingstone. <laughs> My people, I say, we could laugh today. 
I say make we laugh today, yeah? It don't do today, so make we laugh today. And make a living stone. You are done and dusted. <laughs> you are done and dusted. Your dossier is closed. You have no say anymore. You have been suspended. You have been expelled. And you have been <laughs> excommunicated. So this is medicine after death. Let's continue. <laughs> then you would have heard that she's dead because they accused her of inform giving information that happened in the place to one of to the foreign angels. What was the information? The information is as to the plans which he had with them in respect to carrying out a protest. And when he was talking, he said that they speak in tongues, but these people don't understand. That protest was the same protest that um, IPOB members, I think, or Maso, whatever, that were under um, Tina Samuru, they went on that protest and they were butchered. A foolish protest, which Tony Ndo has said, don't go out for protest. If somebody don't um, respect himself, let's call him to order. I have just come to sound a note of warning. <laughs> Let nobody threaten any of our people to eliminate them. Uh -huh. We now we have two persons on the list uh -huh. whose lives are threatened. One is in the other continent. The other one is in the African continent. I <laughs> can't leave this dude. Oh my God! This authority way where you get there. Eh? It is called. <laughs> it is called the Napoleon complex. Napoleon had a complex, you know, because um, Napoleon a short man, so. Napoleon can't think say he need to talk tough. If she can stop on head, so that they go respect him. So you have a Napoleon complex, and make a living stone. <laughs> you have been expelled. You are still talking about cybernet. He is the prime minister of Biafra. The Biafra government in exile. He is our prime minister. So who are you? <laughs> who are you, Emeka Livingstone? Who are you to speak to the dragon that way? Eh? Eh? Mouth they scratch you. Your mouth they scratch you. Look at you, a pastor. <laughs> Emeka Livingstone. You have been suspended. You have been expelled. And you have been excommunicated. <laughs> listen more, my people. Listen, listen, listen. I, I have evidences already. Uh -huh. Let whatever you want. Let bygone be bygone. <laughs> Don't threaten anybody again because the person has decided not to go with you. Hey! Don't threaten anybody again by calling anybody a sabo. Because some dear friends that reason with their annals can abuse you, can even go at length to do you evil. Hey! Because they believe that you have a stumbling block to be friend, not knowing that. The person whom he's been accused of is not the stumbling block. It is you that is talking. Ew. That will make them stain their hands and be in trouble for life. It is you that is talking that is causing problems. So I don't want a situation again where any member, I'm issuing it as a warning openly. I don't <laughs> want a situation again where someone will make a threat to the life of any Biafra that has decided not to work with him. Our own, we did not decide no one to work with him. He excommunicated us. We agreed. <laughs> I don't know how you can excommunicate somebody from Biafra. It sounds very foolish. But then, Threatening people's lives is something we cannot tolerate. If it happens again, and I happen to hear this thing again, I have information. I have them stockpiled. I am going to take it up against you. I am going to make sure that this team will take it up against you with the Finnish government, that you are threatening people's lives. And we are going to present voice notes, evidences, and people who are talking. Your own voice that you said, that was recorded in that place, <laughs> the people whom you sent, what they said. And the Interpol, we have to question them because of the life of somebody that has been threatened. Nobody's life should be threatened. We hey! Hello, man. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, man. Ye me o. Hey! Ye me o. Oh, ye me. Ye me o. Ye me. In this life. You must reap what you sow. Yemeo, yeme, yeme, oh yemeo, yemeo, yeme. In this life, you must reap what you sow. 
Iyeme o, Iyeme. Emeka, God go punish you. Iyeme o, Iyeme. Because you, you be bad the person, you know. Iyeme o, Iyeme. Help, my people. My people, my people, this one at the cry of lamentation, a song of lamentation, a song of betrayal. Say somebody when we trust, this same man was in IPOB Autopilot Media Warriors, a man loved by Simon Ekman. A man appreciated by the dragon. A man given assignment by the dragon. A man who come up with the ETTG, Economic Think Tank Group. I told you guys, from the smell of mess, you can tell the taste of shit. This same man, in less than 90 days, is talking about calling Interpol. He's talking about releasing recorded audio of Simon Ekpa. He's threatening the dragon, say, if you do this again, we'll take you to court in Finland. Hey! Iye me! My people, I told you guys, say, this Biafra fight, there are so many Judas around. So many backstabbers that the Fulani Cabal, they have bankrolled. They have paid them money. These guys, they are dancing for dollars. They are twerking for dollars. They are shaking their bomb bomb for dollars. People like Emeka Livingstone, Nelly Fuegu, they are dancing for dollars. Before your eye, a young boy, Ansema the young lion. Look at the way now he is messing his life up. He is campaigning for Tinubu. He is doing it. That shows you these guys, they have all been compromised. I thank God that our eyes is now being opened. My people, shame catch me when I hear this one. Emeka Livingstone, a man who claimed to be a pastor. He's saying all these things. Look at the bitterness in his heart. Hey, my people, my people. Simon, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. My brother, you know easy. You know easy, but God has made you king. Let the enemies hate. Let them envy with the you know with, with a passion. Let them hate you with a passion. God has made you king over biafra you are the chosen one you were the anointed one you were and you are the anointed one by oyendo mazanam the Kano. he told us to listen to you and since then we've been doing it gracefully my people but it's hard in my heart say simon had people like this around him no wonder they were blackmailing him they did all they could do but thank God, over the test of time, we don't begin to expose them. My people, make we hear more from the man they call Pastor Emeka Livingstone. Today, I have removed his honor. He is no longer a pastor. His name now is Emeka Deadstone, not even a Livingstone no more. And make a shame on you for saying this about your leader. Somebody you said you respect. Look at the way you are speaking about him. After how many days? Just because you were suspended from the movement. And in less than 90 days, see the way they talk about your brother. Hey! Even you, Brutus. My people... If a so-called pastor can say all these things, huh? Let us continue, my people. Make we continue. Hear some more.
are fighting for Biafra. Let everybody fight for Biafra with a pure heart. If you don't work with me, I don't work with you. It doesn't mean we are enemies. The point is, um, Onion do say, anybody that knows how to do to get Biafra, let him do it. And we, we have no intention to leave. We were excommunicated, no problem. But what I'm saying is, stop threatening people's lives. They went after this woman to kill her, and she called me and told me. And I have a lot of people that are witnesses, that are aware of this thing. So I am issuing a warning officially. <laughs> because if it happens again, we may be compelled to seek legal... <laughs> we may be compelled to seek legal clarification in this matter. Because people's lives are in danger. <laughs> if that woman had come home that day, they would have killed her. She was branded as a sabo and that she gave information to the fallen angels. Hey. Now, that was your comment. And guys were out there to go and kill. If they should kill her based on your comment, and you know that what you said was a lie, then how would you account for the life of that woman, her blood being shed? What about her children? What about her husband? <laughs> what about her family? Because I have said it. If she says sabo, say to let the whole world hear it. Say where she has made the sabo. Let us hear it. As we are all here together, we are all Biafrans. If anybody is walking against the Biafran cause, tell us, prove it. We'll find that as that person, and we are going to condemn that person strongly, strongly, strongly. But if you just accuse somebody as a sabo, you don't have proof. And because people follow you hey. out of emotion, and they go about threatening people's lives, it could be the life of uh, Felix Okechuku. It could be your life that is being threatened. Oh. Today you are defending him. Tomorrow you might fall out with him, and he identifies you, and they begin to threaten you to kill you. That time you run to me and begin to tell me. So that is why I come here to give a, a final warning. I don't believe in confrontation with our people. Hey. We have respect for Simon Epa as he has been the spokesperson. But he's going out of the handle to threaten people. Shut up, Mr. Man. Shut up there. Shut up. Eh? Look at what is coming out of your mouth. See the way they talk. See the enmity, the anger, the pain, the venom coming out from your mouth, my brother. Hey! Nana, na, wow, this Biafran struggle. Hey, <laughs> na, wow. When I see the reason why I am extra careful with these people. All these guys, you think they are for us. Simon, please be, be careful. Be careful of your circle. Those around you, be careful about them, I beg. I beg, I beg you, Biko, Biko, be extra vigilant. I'm so happy the way you were able to fish out this guy. And if you own Biko, whatever her name is. Nelly Ofuegu, she was close to you. She was doing shows with you. But thank God, over the test of time, you were able to expose her. But Simon, it's not easy. Please, I want us to learn from this story that those who claim to be close to you, in most cases, they are just there as an eye to the Fulani government. Very, very sad. You know, hearing this, I was supposed to be laughing, but towards this end now, the thing can't to touch me because this man claimed to be a pastor. This man has a church. This man prays to God to heal the sick. This man gets tight from his people. But see the way in the talk, the pain, the anger, the agony, the venom, the poison coming out of his mouth, my people, my people. Hey! Simon, you know easy, you know easy, you know easy, you know easy. On easy lies the head that wears the crown. You are a perfect example of this saying. The adage that says, uneasy lays the head that wears the crown. But I want to assure you today, Simon, that the Lord we serve, the God of Biafra, will never lay upon you a load too heavy to carry. He will never lay upon you a load too heavy to carry. Let the enemies come, 1,000 from your left, 10,000 from your right, they will all fall down. They will be smitten by the sword of justice. The Lord will never lay upon you a load too heavy to carry, Simon, because I can tell, I can tell, these people, they are like vampires. Now I understand why you name yourself the dragon, because vampires are coming, and only a dragon will destroy the vampires. 
my brother the lord will never lay upon you to a very oh my god someone listen to me someone listen to me i'm getting the re the rema the revelation say god will never lay upon simon a load too heavy to carry he will never lay on you a load too heavy to carry he will never lay on you a load too heavy to carry he will never lay on you a load too heavy to carry because god will never never god will never lay on you a load too heavy to carry oh my lord thank you lord thank you for the revelation simon keep your head up keep your head up keep your head up you're on the right track ignore the distractors you are on the right track today i bring these words to you that you are on the right track yes there will be temptation yes there will be blackmails yes there will be backstabbers they will slander your name they will libel against you but the lord will never lay a load upon you that is too heavy to carry this is your journey this is your mandate this is what you were ordained to do this is your destiny my brother simon your job is to go and get us biafra and you're doing it please keep your eyes on the ball remain focused but i thank god say person like this man called emeka livingstone i thank god say you were able to fish him out because people like this they are the hardest to fish out because them come with the name of god them come with jesus they pray to you they have a so-called church oh lord my god and before you know it you'll be confused because in our culture we have been trained not to insult men of god but thank God say, over time, this man was able to expose himself. Where he took it upon himself to write a memo. Forcing Simon Ekman to attend a meeting. A fact-finding mission. When his name is not even part of the Biafra government in exile. You have seen the roster of those who are part of the stakeholders in the Biafran government in exile. Emeka's name is not there. But he felt he was bigger than everybody else. And from his language, when I can hear the way him they talk. My people, if I play this thing more, it's, the thing will begin vex me because today is, you know, Sunday, I'm trying to be respectful. I want to keep it civil but if i play this in more and i go hear how this man they talk with anger with pain with pain if you doubt me listen who did not do anything because they don't want to stay with him again not that i asked them to come and join join us no we were excommunicated no problem we are not contending issues because you know we're still working the different cause now these people's lives have been threatened and simon is responsible i want him to stop it Hey. Let him stop threatening the lives of people. We have not gone down to the level where we should be fighting ourselves. And there's no way you can communicate someone to give this information to him that this is what is happening. So he should mind how he talk on this thing or call his men to order. That's why I'm giving an open warning. The whole world is hearing me. If this thing happens again and I get information from people that they are being threatened, if I make investigation and prove that it's true, especially with voice notes and clips or those people you are sending, talking, we have information. I tell you the truth. We shall be compelled to take it up into the international community because when you threaten somebody in america here it's a criminal offense because you are capable of killing the person hey. so if you make a threat with your mouth and somebody goes out to kill that person you you'll be held responsible how much more when the person who's going to kill is saying that you send them and that you accuse that person as being one of those that inform the fallen angels and that person is a struggle you know how emotional our people are over the hey. so if i hear it happen again i am telling you i will not hesitate 
to seek legal redress and clarification against you. You're a lawyer. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, my people, I can't continue with this anymore. I can't continue with this anymore. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. It is killing me. It is eating me up alive. The sound of this man's voice. It they eat me alive. And I'm trying to stay civil. Emeka Livingstone, you fall my hand. You claim to be a pastor. You claim to be a man of God. And look at what you're saying. You've got evidence. You've got audio. You've heard from people. You are investigating. This is all what you are saying from your mouth. Hey! My Lord and my God. I rest my case, my people. Like I said, today is Sunday. I will keep it civil. I will keep it civil. I will keep it civil. So from me, from here, for now, I'm going to say peace to the whole family. Biafra Superstars Media, I'm holding it down. God bless Biafra and God bless Odudua. God bless His Excellency Mazen Namdekano. God bless Chief Sunday Igboho and all the freedom fighters. From the southeast to the southwest, up to the middle belt. And our Hausa brothers, if you're ready for your freedom, if you're ready for your liberation, if you're ready to regain the land that was stolen from you by the Fulani Cabal, then God bless you too. Above all, God bless the dragon, ESN, Ekba, Simon and Joko, the Prime Minister of the Biafran government in exile. My brother, keep your head up. I, in fact, I cannot imagine what you're going through. The sleepless nights. Things like this will make somebody go crazy. That those you trust, those they were close to you, those you had series of meetings with, those you confided in, this, those same people are the ones now turning around and blackmailing you. Simon, I'm so sorry. I, I never knew things was like this. I was thinking the only enemy we had was the Fulani and all those things, the Cabal, Fulani Cabal. But now I am seeing that our problem is deep rooted, Simon. It is time to separate the chaff from the wheat. It is time. Our problem is deep rooted. The Fulani, they've used our dollars our oil the revenue from the oil the process from the oil to bribe so many people around us i'm so sorry that you are going through this i'm so sorry that somebody who you were close to somebody that you had confidence in someone that came to you and you gave him his blessing with their ETTG group, the Economic Think Tank group. All right, uh, thank you, Bia France, for this particular clip. The big and sequel. I don't want to show this clip, but oh, you got born in Messi. Obruzi, you wute. Nyalum. Ma zinande kana na prison. Ma zaman e bana fight all means to get it easier. And they now for a lot of distraction. I'm not happy about it. So, Bia France, what do you think concerning the audio, uh, the the clip you just listening right now? Yes, what do you have to say? Don't forget to drop your own comments on the comment section below. All right, thank you so much, and stay tuned at Eastern News Twenty Four. We have to give to you the latest news update, the latest happening in Biafra land. Goodbye, Dalun. Okay, Messiah.